All right, now we're going to do division another way. We're going to do division this time using the subtractive method or repeated subtraction. So we're going to take this 12, using base blocks this time, there's so many different ways to do this, and we're going to see how many times we can take 3 from this 12. So if we're taking groups of 3, how many groups do we get? So we can't even take a group of three yet because of this this block here. So we're going to have to do an exchange right away. Bam! Let's let's exchange and bring this guy up here in his place. Whoop! Okay, we did a nice exchange. I kind of cheated because I had it set up. So now we can deal with this. How many groups of three can we have? We're going to do this repeat with repeated subtraction. Let's take away one group of three, another group of three, another group of three and we're left with a group of 3. So here we see that 12 divided by 3 gives us 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 3. There are, are 4 groups of 3. Okay, so that's a way to do it with manipulatives. Now let's look at a drawing for it. Alright, so now we're just going to draw because we want to or need to because you can't turn in manipulatives on the test. So here we have our problem that we were doing. 12 divided by 3 using repeated subtraction. So in order to draw what we do here, we've got to tr um, trade this in since we can't actually repeatedly subtract 3's from this because this is a 10. So we're going to trade this in. And we're going to trade it in for all 1's. So rather than a 10 and 2 1's, we're going to have 12 1's. Let's see if I can do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then here was the 2 we originally had. And now we need to repeatedly subtract 2. We could, or subtract 3, excuse me. We could redraw this, which a lot of people would, but we can just say, okay, here's one group of 3, two groups of 3, three groups of 3, and here's four groups of 3. So that shows you that if you have 12 objects and you want to repeatedly take out groups of 3, that you'll get 4 groups. I hope this helps clear up the repeated subtraction method and how you should draw it. And there will be more examples posted. Thanks for watching.